In this video, you will learn how to make sea moss gel. This is my first time using Atlantic Gold Sea Moss, so let's see how it turns out. So I added 8 cups of water and 0 0.110 pounds of the dried sea moss. Ensure to clean your sea moss thoroughly. Dirt particles can be very fine sometimes. Because I have a Vitamix blender, I didn't let it soak for too long, but your soaking can vary based on what you would like to do with it. And also the type of blender you have, so soak accordingly. I also added limes to cut the taste, but after washing it, it was very fresh. So for my acid reflux clients, you know not to add any limes. And for my alkaline vegan people, add key limes. So it's coming together, as you can see, I clean it good, so we'll let it soak some more. This is the perfect texture, so let's blend our sea moss gel. I had to put 16 ounces of water for 5 ounces of sea moss. Using a Vitamix, I blended on smoothie option until smooth. It actually came out really good, so this type of plain sea moss is good for soups, teas, smoothies, and as a jello you can eat as is, etc. The last sea moss I had, which was a lower quality, no matter how much I washed it, it was salty, so it had to wash good. But this one was fresh, and so I was tempted to add some sea salt, but I didn't. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If it gets solid in the refrigerator, you can always warm it up to melt it down. Check out my next video on sea moss fruit infused gels. Comment below your thoughts on how you prepare your sea moss gel. Head on over to my other sea moss videos.